how do you delegate things when you don't have a personal assistant? That's what we're going to talk about in the, today's video. Wouldn't it be nice to have a, a personal assistant to take care of all those things in life that are uh, difficult, difficult to balance all these things? What I'm going to talk about here is how to delegate when you don't have an assistant or you don't have someone to help you. This effectively is done through only taking on conscious responsibility for one thing in your life. And now how this works is basically you take on responsibility for whatever area in your life that is. It could be your work life, it could be your creative work, it could be your fitness, it could be any one area, but it's just one area. And you said, that's all I am taking on, I'm going to focus on implementing. We do that to a level of excellence, a full commitment. Now the idea is with this, this free delegating is that that's what we do consciously. We make a commitment to one thing, we're single-minded. But with this delegating, we give all other areas of life over to this, um, what we could call a subconscious organizing force or assistant. So we're, we're saying, I'm taking care of this one thing, every other area of my life, I'm going to give over to this other part to be organized for me. Now, the thing is, when we do that, we're allowed to say, I would like to see growth, I would like to see positive things happening in these other areas of life. But when we do this, we have to give over complete control in terms of how those things are managed or brought to an improvement. You see, that requires a few things on our behalf to do this. It requires, first of all, a, a humility and an open-mindedness. Because really what we have to remind, remind ourselves of is if we're going to do that, it's to say, well, look, I've tried balancing all of these things. I've tried to take on five or six goals at one time. And it hasn't worked. That's the humility part. So an open-mindedness is, well, look, could it be any worse than the way I was trying to do it when I was um, multitasking? Maybe I'm just going to release as much control over these other areas of my life and I'm going to let my subconscious delegate, you can even give that delegate a name, an assistant, and see how that does. Now, I have found through experience and uh, with clients that there is this thing where if we t have a deep commitment to one thing, and a spontaneity or an openness to letting other things go or the rigidity about organizing and multitasking other areas of life, it works very, very well. So there is also this psychological spillover of you're making progress in this one area, you're achieving excellence in it, and there's therefore you're more drawn to do these other areas of life because of that positive affect, positive emotional uh, feedback. So how do, you, how do you delegate when you don't have an assistant? You have an assistant, uh, but they live in your subconscious. So delegate to them. Remove any hows about how those areas of your life should be improved. Take on conscious control over one area and just watch what happens. And go in with an open-mindedness. Could it be any worse than the way things were when I was managing everything? And you might be surprised. So I hope that's a useful concept. Give it a go, maybe do some journaling around it with your own experiences and uh, maybe let me know below, below what you think of that and, uh, or if you've had any success or even difficulty with that approach. Thanks for being with me and I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now.